This might be my absolute favorite power feature of the Kindle Paperwhite and any other Kindle. The Highlights and Notes feature. Why this one? At first it doesn't sound all too spectacular, doesn't it? Well, the real power is not in the single application of the feature, but when applied for content that is really important and stands out to you personally. It produces a miracle while finishing a document. When you're finished reading and highlighting, you will have your own personal excerpt of what you have read. With everything that matters to you and not somebody else. The popularity of services like Blinkist, Get Abstract and other book summarizing services is constantly rising. And I actually like those a lot. But your personal summary is much more valuable to you and maybe also to others you want to share it with. Enough rapture on the feature. Here's how it actually works. When you're in the book, long press the sentence you want to highlight or make a note to. When the underlining appears, move your finger along the page until the end of the passage. Then let go. You can also use the two handles that show up after long pressing and extend your selection forward or backward within the text. If you want to adjust the selection, just tap next to the text and the handles will appear again. To delete the selection, tap Delete in the pop-up. To get access to your notes, open the context menu on the right side of the top menu and tap Notes. At the bottom of the document, you will find the Expert Notes button. The Kindle will now send an email to the email address that is connected to your Amazon account. Open the email and you will find your highlights and notes as a Word and PDF document. For a long time, publishers and authors were concerned about copyright infringements, but it proves to be very valuable to everyone. The amount of text you can export is limited though. It has been reported that some books don't offer the export function at all. No problem, there's a workaround for that case too. You find the notes in the documents folder on your Kindle. So just connect the Kindle via USB to your computer, find the folder and copy or open the myclippings.txt document. Now you have your own summary. As I've loved this function for many years, I'm now a proud owner of my own little short reads library that I copied into Evernote. The notebook is called My Books and it contains all summaries I've made over the years. From time to time, I go back and look at certain topics I studied to get the summary of the respective document. A really great feature for study, research or work. Enjoy it.